Okay, so in this little tutorial here, we're going to talk about damaged threads, stripped out threads, threads that there's no hope for. Um, and there's really, you can't run a tap down through these because there's just not enough left within the case so that the bolts will never hold again. So what we need to do is determine what size, there, there's a, a, a kit out there, and in short, they call it a helicoil kit. We have two of them here. Looks kind of like this, up into one cabinet. And this is designed specifically, it should have all your needs for a thread repair. Let's say that, that bolt that we previously removed, let's say that uh, the threads were so bad that they couldn't be repaired, okay? It's down within that hole, no saving it. This kit will help us out. The first thing we need to do though, is we need to determine what size bolt that was, what thread pitch that was, the whole nine yards. So, I know, because with the experience I've had, I know that this is a six millimeter bolt and it's a thread pitch of 1.0. But you may not know that. And you need to make sure of this before you begin, okay? So the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna find out what this is. So we're gonna come over here to our tap and die set, our metric tap and die set, and let's find the thread pitch. So we pull out our thread pitch gauge and we figure out which one of these is going to match up with our thread pitch of the bolt that came out of that hole originally, okay? So we try this 0.9 and that's not really working too good. So we're gonna try this 1.0. This 1.0 drops in the threads perfectly because this is a metric bolt, um, the thread pitch is going to be in 1.0, 0.9, 0.75, etc. If it were an SAE, it would be threads per inch. This is actually millimeters between threads. And in this case, a 1.0 means that there's one millimeter between each of these threads. But we know for a fact that this is a 1.0 and we need to determine what size now, what diameter it is. So, again, there are bolt cards out there, you can find that out, or you can go through here, through our tap and die set, and in this case, I'm assuming this is a six millimeter, and it fits right in, more or less. It fits right in, and our die threads right onto it. So we know that this is a six by 1.0. We need to know that before we start here because once we, we have to drill to the correct size. Now, on this tap and die, or this, um, yeah, this helicoil set, the lower portion is metric, the upper portion is SAE. So I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna find in this plastic case where it says M6 by 1.0. These four devices right here are everything that we need to do this job correctly. We have a drill bit, we have a tap, we have an install tool, and we have a device for breaking the tab off at the bottom once we're done installing it. So we have these three items that we will need. And these are our, what I call, thread savers, or helicoil. It's basically a stainless steel wire. It's kind of like a spring. And it's designed that we're gonna drill this hole out larger. We're gonna tap it larger. Then we'll thread the insert in, and it'll be good as new. So, let's begin. This is the hole we're going to repair. We're going to start out with a drill bit, which is associated with that particular repair job.
Now I can tell you that aluminum is kind of funny and you watch for the drill bit to grab and pull itself down in. Um, just be careful of that. All right, so make sure you're straight. Keep the drill bit, whoop, turning in the wrong direction. And we're gonna drill out what's left of the old threads. See how quick that drill bit grabbed and went all the way to the bottom of the hole. Clear off as much of the extra thread. Now we're gonna use our tap which is gonna go down in there and cut new threads. I'm going to use the tap handle. Uh, you know what, I won't be able to because this uh, shaft is gonna be in the way. Hold on for just a minute. Okay, in this case we're gonna use our crescent wrench. Add a little bit of oil. Now nice and carefully and staying straight let's get our tap started down in the hole the straighter you make it the better the job will be Sometimes it doesn't want to start right away. Just keep pressure on it, be patient. And before you know it, you'll be cutting new threads. Okay, so I moved the shifter shaft out of the way, took the circ clip off it, and uh, that way there, that enabled me to get the uh, tap handle on. So here we are, just like threading any other hole, you're gonna give it about a half a turn, back it off a quarter. Half a turn, back it off a quarter. And you're gonna keep doing this until you get enough threads cut to get that insert in there all the way. If you don't cut enough threads, the bottom of this tap is tapered. And what's gonna happen is your uh, helicoil is gonna thread in, and then at the bottom, it's gonna choke off. I'll show you what I mean here in a minute. And you won't be able to get your tool out after you install the helicoil. So we wanna make sure that we cut enough threads in short so that we can get our helicoil in there easily. Doesn't hurt to go deeper than needed as long as you're not damaging the engine case. Okay, feels like we about hit the bottom there. So I'm going to go ahead and remove the tap. We are plenty deep enough. I'm going to go ahead and just rinse that out a little bit to get any shavings and stuff because we don't want them in there. about ready to go. Now, if you take a look at this tap, 
you'll see that near the top of it, it tapers in, okay? You're gonna get the same result down in that hole. If you don't go down in there far enough, the threads are gonna taper in and they're gonna get narrow. So then you're gonna go and you're gonna to wanna to screw this insert in and it's gonna go into that area where there's less threads and it's going to close in. Then in turn, your install tool, you're not gonna be able to remove the install tool because it will crimp this and you can't get the tool out. So in short, make sure that you go deep enough with the tap when you put your initial threads in there. Now when you go to thread your insert in, one thing that you have to remember, don't go too deep. You want it to be flush with the hole, okay? You want the thread, you don't want any of this insert to be sticking up above the hole. So you have to go at least flush. So you put that on there, engage your slot, or engage that tab into the slot. That goes in first, by the way. And we're going to just thread that down in there. Nice and easy like. And as long as we have the threads deep enough from the tab, we can thread this down till it's flush with the top of the hole or slightly below the gasket surface. Okay. And then we just remove our install tool. Now, if we didn't make the threads deep enough, that insert would choke off and grab a hold of this. So now that our thread insert or our helicoil is installed, that tab has to be busted off. So you're just gonna take your install, your um, punch down in there and just, just like that, and it's busted off. Take your case, flip it over, rinse it out one last time, and you should be able to thread that bolt right back down in there with ease, just like that. It's good as new. So that's the helicoil, and that's how they work. If you do something like this, and by the time you're done getting that broken bolt out, the, the threads are all gone, this is where the, where the helicoil kit comes into play. So you wanna be able to install that. I wanna be able to come up see that there's no thread sticking above the surface, um, that you didn't destroy the install tool, and I should be able to install this screw with relative ease, make sure your work area is all cleaned up, and that's the end of this uh, video.